All right, hey guys, Brian with Buffalo Beer Reviews. Back with a, a beer that Thin Man came out with a little bit ago uh, that I'm, I'm a little bit behind on getting onto vi uh, film because, you know, life happens. But it's a Sci-Fi Hamster Wheel. It's a New England IPA from uh, Thin Man. Uh, released maybe about two weeks ago. Um, extremely enjoyable. This is a 7.0% uh, ABV with no IBUs noted. I didn't get any sort of write-up online or anything about that. Um, this is a collab brewed and canned by Thin Man Brewery at Young Lion in Canandaigua. Uh, I've had a Young Lion. Um, actually, I haven't had Young Lion on the um, channel, but I have had Young Lion. Our, our cottage is right off of Honeyoy and the east side of Honeyoy and uh, Young Lion is just a really short and easy drive away. But you know how it is, uh, Thin Man makes uh, uh, a list of IPAs uh, that are enjoyable, a list of New England IPAs that are thoroughly enjoyable. Um, so I got this one and um, you know, spoiler alert, it's nothing short of ex exceptionally enjoyable as well. So. I thought I'd get it out. I know Thin Man today is uh, Saturday the 9th, and Thin Man just came out with another collab uh, New England IPA. I was gonna go down and grab it tomorrow, and uh, hope to get it onto the film for everybody, um, you know, in the next couple of days. But let's uh, take a look at this sci-fi hamster wheel. It did, it, it just barely escaped uh, surviving the deep freeze in Buffalo. I think it's like that last sort of winter push before uh, spring comes out. It's been in the um, you know low 40s, high 30s today, which is amazing. Again, this is Sci-Fi Hamster Wheel from Thin Man and Young Lion. So you take a look at this thing. It's almost got that semi like fluorescent, like neon yellow. Do you know what I mean? It looks really, really appetizing. Um, almost stagnant looking uh, uh, carbonation, although it is really well carbonated. It gives us this really nice, thin, pure white head. Do you know what I mean? And you get those really nice, light dankiness, uh, really light hoppy uh, sort of citrus characters, but you get this super aggressive sort of candied apricot, um, sort of mango-y vibe, really. Really, wow. And it does, it kind of makes your mouth water a little bit in anticipation of um, this fun sort of New England IPA. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Sci-Fi Hamster Wheel, it's just another one of those um, uber goofy names, uh, obscure sort of names that uh, Thin Man comes up with, stuff like that. Um, anything else, really? Yeah, I think uh, light oats, a um, little bits of, of yeasty uh, qualities in there, but you really do uh, get that sweet uh, candied sort of vibe to it. It almost kind of looks candied uh, in that sort of uh, shade of yellow and orange, you know what I mean? Well, how does this uh, taste, you know what I mean? Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Um, it kind of plays right into the same vibe as the uh, flavor, uh, as the aroma would suggest. So you get this really nice <clears throat> light nose and it follows right into this really light and um, kind of candied hoppy sort of IPA. It really does. I could see, um, you know, really nice mango notes. I can get really nice uh, pineapple, really uber ripe pineapple notes. I can get uh, the apricots, totally. Um, this thing drinks really smoothly, really lightly. Um, nothing seems to be really seriously uh, taken seriously on, on this beer. And and you can tell, uh, the name, kind of the look, the vibe, it's all light. And um, I really dig that about um, a lot of the Thin Man releases. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. I don't necessarily know if I would 
consider this a New England IPA. I mean, it's like every other beer I have, I could play ball with, I can't play ball with, I could play ball with, I can't play ball with. This one, uh, you know, it, it semi looks the part, um, but then it doesn't always hit all of the, of the boxes, check marks, um, when it comes to, you know, the body and the appearance and, and the drinkability of a New England. And I, that's just my opinion. Um, I would say this is just a really, really nice American IPA, um, East Coast IPA, with some candied sort of attributes to it. Um, it drinks super easy, um, and you do. I, I can kind of play ball with that that oaty, um, smooth mouth feel that I think a lot of the New Englands try to hit these days. Yes, totally. Um, the seven percent ABV is. Uh, super well hidden I think in the sweetness and uh, that sugary sort of of uh, vibe that they have going on um, whether that was lactose whether that was a, like a milk sugar or whatever else they kind of may or may not have added I don't have any idea um, but uh, I think the 7% uh, real easy to hide um, yeah this is extremely enjoyable uh, I don't know if you guys could tell that, but this is extremely enjoyable beer. Um, I got two of the four packs of this, and and really, the first four pack that I I had gotten was gone that night, and I was really nervous. I was going to drink it all before I got it onto video. Um, fortunately, it survived, um, and uh, I was able to show it to you guys. So, uh, if you guys are out this weekend, either Saturday or Sunday. Um, for this new collab release. Um, if there's any sci-fi hamster wheel left at Thin Man, uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to pick it up. Um, and that's gonna be my exact plan. If uh, there's any left over at Thin Man, I'm totally gonna get it. I know all of the village beer merchants have it. I know some of the um, other kind of peripheral, uh, like, uh, North Town, South Towns outfits, they have it as well. Stuff like that. You'll always see it around. Um, if you guys see it, pick it up. Uh, this is extremely enjoyable. Um, I don't know. What do I like about it? I like, well, well it's a local beer. Uh, Thin Man does a great job with uh, a lot of their IPAs in New England's. You know, we all love, you know, Bliss and, and, and this and that and the other thing and, and burn money and, and whatever. Like, it, when it comes to Thin Man, I think they're really well versed in making good IPAs and good New England IPAs. Their second anniversary IPA, I can just call off the top of my head, was amazing. Um, I don't know. I thought it was uh, maybe on the cons side, uh, maybe a little bit on the sweeter side if you're looking for a traditional New England IPA. This is a little bit on the sweet side. And, you know, that might not jive with a couple of traditionalists or whatever you want to call yourself, uh, beer snobs, shit like that. Um, other than that, there really isn't a whole lot to, to say nay about with this guy. It really is going to be uber drinkable, and uh, I liked it a lot. So, I don't know. That's about it for me, guys. This is going to be my first uh, official beer review on the new GoPro, the new system. And I believe I'm going to be compiling this on my iPad Pro. Um, so I have editing software on the iPad Pro. I can do this uh, uh, practicing kind of editing and uploading on the fly. So I can do whatever I want from wherever I want. So that's about it for me, guys. Um, as always, I totally appreciate all of the clicks and all of the thumbs up and all of the comments um, and all of the awesome beer uh, being made in Buffalo. So let me know what you guys think about uh, Sci-Fi Hamster Wheel for yourself, uh, whether I'm off or, or spot on or in between. Uh, all dialogue is good uh, for me. So let me know. And always, if you're a home brewer and you wanna get uh, a beer onto uh, YouTubeville and uh, you wanna have a beer with me and shoot the shit about your beer, let me know. I would absolutely love that any day, anytime, anywhere uh, that you want and we'll get that uh, happening. So that's it for me, guys. I, uh, again, I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.